A man governed by the name Ransom posted mm -hmm. on his page about how he borrowed a lady some money, 1.5 million naira, and getting the refund back is posing a big problem. From the picture of his chats with the said lady, he called the debtor's mother and the debtor warned him never to call her mother again or else she would shock him. Wow. Some days later, she sent him 100,000 naira. A month later, he tried calling her again, but she was always saying she was busy. He called her mother again and threatened her, and the debtor said if he ever tried that again, she wouldn't pay up the balance. And now he's saying he would never borrow any money again, obviously. So looking at some replies to his post, the Yoruba lady says one sided story. Shane and the mama borrow money from you, Ni. Stop stressing someone's mother, I beg. Okonkwa also says when you pick him and lock him up in the police custody, the same mother he shouldn't disturb will still come to beg you and ask, you know me as the mother, why didn't you draw my attention? And Dami says, a more be like person never owes some people where they comment nonsense here money before. If them owe you money goes to you, you will involve the whole family. Someone legit owed my papa millions going to 10 years now until we involved the whole family, you know, before they paid half last year. So, you know, it's, it's almost inevitable mm -hmm. that, you know, people must definitely want to know about borrow some people money. But how do you think you, or do you have like criteria to borrowing people money? Because how are you sure that this person you're borrowing money okay, is going to right. refund, you know, this money? And I don't know how is this guy going to sort uh, his whole issue. I mean, 1.5 million is mm -hmm. not been... So personally, this is me saying personally, I do not lend people money. Wow. I'll say that again. I, Margaret Opera, do not lend people money. If you come to meet me and you say, I need to want, can you lend me 200,000 naira? If what I can, I could have the money, and this is a fact, I'm not even apologetic about it. I could have 50,000 naira and say, I am giving you what we call dash. Mm. I'm dashing you 50,000 naira. Go and look for who will lend you 150. Because I'm not ready to spoil my relationship with people mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. money. Because mm -hmm. people, you know, the, the tone people used to borrow money, it's not the same tone yeah. they were used to respond when you when ask you it. Yeah. So yeah. I've had too many experiences. If I'm ever lending any, giving anybody 200,000 naira, I know that. My mind is locked. If you pay back, fine. If you don't pay back, fine. But mm -hmm. say, I, I don't give up money I'm not willing to let go of. Mm -hmm. So if you come to meet me and say, Marcus, can you lend me a million naira? If I have 500,000 naira, I'm telling you, if I'll tell you, okay, I'm giving you, I won't tell you. But uh, as integrity, you should pay back. But pay back. if mm -hmm. I know that, I, I'm giving you what I know that if, if you don't pay back, mm -hmm. I, won't, I won't die. You won't push me. But giving you, maybe I have... 10 million in my account and mm. I'm lending you 8 million, I won't do that. Mm. I can say, Chama, I will give you 500k, don't worry. Then look for who will give you the many 1.5 million. You know, I, I have a friend who that. He's not, he said he can't give out what he can't lose. lose. You understand? Yeah. So any amount is given, you know that, okay, if you don't pay back, then you won't die. It, 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 really it, it's good to pay back, but one thing again about me, if you don't pay back, I may not ask you, but just know that you would, you would never need to, even if it's the worst comes to worst, which mm. I don't pray for, mm. you can't come to me because I won't give you. Because mm. for you not to have paid back, I will tell you you can pay back or not, but for you not to have paid back, don't, don't bother coming to me <laughs> again. But I think that's, for me, that's the best approach to me because, you, you know, when it comes to money, people tend to be very, yeah. very, they react as though it's their life. But money is really not life. So what I mean, lose friends, or lose my personality, integrity over money. I rather not give at all, or give what I know that I can, can let go. So that's it for me. I, I mean, I've heard um, several financial, you know, analysts, business coaches, um, you know, have that um, same thought that um, do not, you know, lend someone an amount of money you know that you can't afford to lose. Rather than lend, just have a portion of you know, um, your finances that you can always give. Exactly. And once you've exceeded the cap or once mm. you've reached that cap, you shouldn't exceed it. You know, I've heard that, especially though when they teach you about budgeting yeah. and trying to manage your finances and what have you. Again, um, there's the place of trust in all of this. The fact that I'm even willing to make the sacrifice to give you a certain amount of money is simply because I trust that you probably need it more. Not because I do not need it. I also have issues I could, you know, yeah. be dealing with or maybe not presently, I could be saving up for, uh, you know, a project or something. But the fact that I'm parting, you know, ways with my money, hard end, it must be said. Yeah. It means that I trust you that you should be able to pay back. Yeah. Now, um, sometimes, you know, um, situations arises where, you know, um, you fail to pay on the specified date. 
integrity will just you know require that you communicate with the person and hey i'm so sorry you know maybe there's a delay in salary payment that's why yeah, i've not been able ghosting, rather than ghosting avoid, avoiding you know the totally. again yes that those who would say um why involve the mother you know it's i mean it's mm -hmm. the child you had issues with or dealings with an agreement with but maybe he has in quote exhausted you know every Absolutely, means and yeah. he just feel okay maybe i should inform mom and you know see if she can also lean on you to pay back 1.5 is quite a huge it's, sum of money especially in this economy mm -hmm. you know so um there's a place of trust and you know the yorubas will often say like money is um, the primary cause of Perfect. friends you know um, you parting like ways mm, that, that's like yeah, a loose yeah. translation if you know that you value that friendship and you do not want to lose it, if you are giving out money, then you who are receiving should ensure that you pay back. And if you can't pay back at that specified time, communicate. There's nothing as, you know, worse as ghosting on someone when the person has done you a favor, especially one that you need to, you know, pay back. Yeah, it's it's that, really that's ridiculous. People, people don't really know, mm -hmm. you know. Well, we all know the economy is not very friendly in this yep. part of the world, but let's still try to be kind and humane. Give a helping hand when needed. Yep. Repay when you know. Repay when you know you're supposed to repay, and also reciprocate the good gesture. And away from that, now daily on social media, people are bullied about different aspects of their lives, and well, our celebrities don't escape it. Someone by the name Caleb took a jab at um, DJ Copy for her single status, asking her to go get married because she will be 40 soon. And she replied by simply saying, let me see 31st in Jesus' name. Amen. So taking a few tweets, Blessing says, make Una leave that girl a beg. Marriage is the only thing to think of as a lady. Hmm. Achi Zara says, Caleb, who most likely has 536 Naira and 25 Kogo in his bank account, <laughs> is advising the daughter of a billionaire who's also a billionaire by extension to fight a man. He should find some, some sense for himself, use it to make money, mm -hmm. and find a woman who will agree to marry him first. Then Art Ray finally says, yeah, I'll be making this marriage thingy look like some serious achievements. I feel we must, we must uh, allow her to be. That's true. Some people see marriage you know, as an achievement. Once you're out of school, you're, you're done serving, the next thing for you is... You know, marriage, no career thoughts, nothing about. What, what do you think about that? Do you think there is a set time for marriage? Uh, well, mm -hmm. talking about marriage as an achievement depends on the person's definition of an achievement. Mm -hmm. In those <laughs> days, once you are 16, what, what am I saying? 15, 13, and you're not married, you're seen as. Not in, this, in those days, though, right now. I am talking based on what I do. <laughs> I understand, but then, based on your definition of achievement, some persons may. Okay, some persons may just want to finish. Some people don't even want to go to school. They don't want to go to university. They just want to finish and learn a trade. Mm. To them, mm. you going to school, you are wasting your time. Yep. Mm. Others mm. will tell you school has come. Others will tell you, I have handwork. You don't have handwork. All this time you wear, wear yeah. the So what's the division of an achievement? Some persons marriage is an achievement. And for those who marriage is an achievement for them, go ahead and get married. Well, some people, but well, don't push your division of mm -hmm. achievement on so someone so else. Yeah. My to me, marriage could be an achievement because as good as I want to have a career, I'm a graduate, I have degrees, I want to have a, um, I have a career, I also want to get married and have That's children. Family, yeah. To me, having a successful career, having a successful marriage and a happy family and other businesses is an achievement, is an achievement mm. to me. So if I have a career and I'm not married and I don't have children, I would see that not fully achieved because marriage for me is important. Not just marriage, because I have a career already, I'm mm. a graduate already, I should be married and have children to make it complete. Yeah. Not to complete me, to make my definition of achievements complete. Other people don't want to get married, and I can't force them. Apostle Paul in the Bible was never married. Jesus Christ was never married. Was he, uh, was he successful? Yes, he achieved so many things. So, it may not be her achievement. So, you don't force your definition yeah. of achievements on That's someone right. else. Mm. People should be allowed to breathe. If, if anybody says, I don't want to get married, I don't have kids. It's not your place to tell them why. What or people do? are married yeah. for five years. They don't have kids. You ask them, are we expecting a child? That's none of your business. Yeah. Or people don't... Someone can decide to want to have a child and not want to get married. And mm. your your problem is to prognose and ask why. Why don't you want to get married? Why don't... People should be allowed ask to you, be, when are you getting married? It's not your business. <laughs> I could start to get married at 25. So you could start to get married at 16. Someone else could see 40 as the ideal time to get married. People should be allowed to live their life how it, how they feel mm. would suit them. Mm. And their own definition of achievement should not be 
or imposed on someone else because our fingerprints are not the same. Yeah. Our yep. eye, I, what do they call it? Eye eyeballs. eyeballs are also not the same. It can never be the same. Yeah. Okay. You, you know, the issue is um, societal dictates and constructs over time have placed these, you know, ridiculous, um, you know, barriers wearing that various expectations at, you know, certain ages. Again, these old clock talk of, oh, your biological clock, your this, your that. So a lady in her late 20s or, you know, 30s mm. is already seen as, oh, something must be wrong with you. That's why you're not married. Spiritual Even problem. to the point of spiritual, spiritual problem. problem. <laughs> Which may not you know, be the case. Even to the point of spiritual problem. Again, there's no way that's written either in constitution or something. It's just mm. societal construct that, oh, a lady must be married at this age and they'll come from the angle of biological clock. I mean, who says that everyone who even wants to, um, who gets married wants to even have a child? Yeah. That those who just want to have, um, get married yeah. because of the companionship, mm. they're not ready for, Children, you know, the yeah. whole um, stress or, child you know, the, the joy all. that comes yeah. with childbearing and all of that. No. A lady just got married at 52 days back. And you know, and it was, wrong with it was on social media, you know, some of those um, famous blogs carried it. And, you know, reactions trailed as well. The truth is, people have different goals. And when you achieve one or two goals, it becomes your own achievement. achievement yeah. So achievement is personal. Mm. Someone wants to, you know, leave school, graduate from school at maybe 24, get married by 26. Mm. The person is able to achieve it. That's an achievement for the yeah. person. Yeah. The fact that the person was able to achieve that does not mean I want to achieve the same thing. So I think for copy, um, it, people should understand, or the guy who trolled that should understand that it's a personal decision. And hopefully, you know, um, no one is pressured into, you know, um, doing what they do not want to do. Okay. So marriage really isn't an achievement. Mar mm. Marriage or marriage is an achievement to some people. Not you know, everyone. marriage will come, but until then, mm -hmm. who are you? It's good to get married and have a family, but don't let marriage define you. Before you jump into marriage, look at your life and ask yourself if you're ready for marriage mentally, physically, financially, and emotionally. Don't ever jump into something you're not ready for. And yep. don't jump in for the wrong reasons, too. Mm. Your future and happiness is also important. And this is where we'll pause on uh, social media bus today. See you same time tomorrow.